using the two screws that are fixing the uh, outlet plastic part. Then turn off the machine and loosen the screw on the top of the extruder. Aim at the plastic part and use Allen key to drill it out. Next, unplug the extruder cable. Unscrew the two screws at the button that are fixing the extruder. Now it can be taken off. A long screw must be screwed into the heat block. This enables you to hold the heat block in place and stop it moving to avoid breaking the connection with the heat break while you use the ring spanner to undo the nozzle. The nozzle has a bottom tube attached to it. Remove both. Put the new nozzle and the bottom tube on. Hold the long screw that way fitted easily. Tighten the nozzle with the ring spanner. Be careful, don't let the heat block go awry. Then take off the long screw. Put the extruder back in place and tighten back. Insert the air outlet, air outlet plastic part into the hole. Be careful be aligned with the outlet of the turbo fan. And fast turn on. Push the cable back into the extruder. Pay attention to the little pieces. They must be inserted into the socket in the holder when placing the extruder shot back. Now 
Not when the shot is fully put in, there's no gap. Then tighten back the shoulder.